Hello, I am Ferris Pilots, and you are watching another episode of The Banner Saga. Let's just resume our game here. I remember last time around we ran into some ruffians, and we took a rest because our morale was, yeah, weak. So, this time around, apparently we can talk to some guy. I forgot this guy's name, but I do remember him being like a total badass, so we will talk to him. How's the arm, Eagle? I forgot everybody's accent, so if you expect me to remember, like, if you expect consistency out of these accents, I apologize. How's the arm, Eagle? You find Eagle just outside the camp, practicing his sword swings. I saw you talk taking some hard hits out there. Oh, yeah, I'm great. Er, not great, just considering that everything, I'm, I'm fine. My arm's fine. It's a, it's a strong shield. It's Rook, right? I, I know we haven't talked much before now. But, if you want, you can just call me Gil. Okay, Gil. I wanted to let you know that I meant what I said before about making sure nothing happens to Alette. This guy is fucking hot for Alette, I swear to God. Rook is Alette's father, so we're gonna be like, You better stay away from my daughter, you son of a bitch. I've never seen like shield like that before. I've, Iver seems to think you're pretty good. You're protective of Alette, huh? Well, she's... Uh, I, I don't want to get hurt, sir. You can see his cheeks turn bright red. I am a total genius. Actually, no. That would be the writers of this game, which allowed me to interpret their meaning. Don't worry, she can take care of herself, too. I, I know, I, I didn't mean... Easy, Gil, I know what you meant. You think about what to say. Uh, let's, let's compliment his shield. <laughs> yeah, I, I doubt there's many. My father made this. It's solid metal, really heavy. Wow, a metal? Like, that's crazy, dude. But I've been practicing with it since I was a kid. I, I used to spend a lot of time just getting used to lifting it. He raises it up to show you. I'm pretty good with it now. It's the only thing of my father's I have left. Then when my mother died, she gave it to me before she died. Wow, is this guy- This kid is literally Norse Batman. Holy shit. You think about what to say. Ivor seems to think you're pretty good. D did, did he say that? That's, that's good. I'm trying. Never had to fight anything like Dredge before, but... I don't have much else to do, and how many people get to train with Varl? Just seems like I could be helped to someone. That's what I want to be. You think about what to say. You know what? I should probably stop reading the you think about what to say, because it happens every single time you have a dialogue options. Um, I'm heading back to camp. Stay strong. I will. Oh, and let, oh, and let, let me know if you need something. I can, I can do anything you need. Anything? <laughs> Between you and I, between you and I, we're gonna be okay, I can tell. Oh, man. That was pretty bad. Um, what do we need to do here? We need to rest. We should probably rest at some point. But let's take a look at our heroes for a second here. Alright, let's, uh... Oh, none of these... Oh, he has been promoted. Okay, Eagle, you're gonna be a badass for us. We're gonna promote him. We, we need, like, these flags to promote people, right? But that's okay. Build higher stats, increase your item rank. Yeah, let's do it. Eagle, you're gonna be a motherfucking badass, all right? Yeah, he's young, Skoger, five kills. He's 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 awesome, basically. Uh, do I want to increase his armor break, Majikers? Or his what does this do? I forgot everything. God damn it! It's been a while since I played this game. You know what? I think we're just gonna go and increase his. Uh... What is this? Oh, stone wall resist. Well, I think resisting three damage per hit is pretty good for now. So, we're just going to increase his um, armor, I think. And maybe increase his uh, armor break, uh, Majiggers, I think. That's what it was. Yeah, that's break. The amount of direct damage you can naturally do with an enemy's armor. So, I think armor destroying is pretty important in this game. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, we have zero points available. So, next we up, we have Rook. And he also has a promotion. Ivor does not have a promotion. Old Life has a promotion. And Let has a promotion. I'm going to go ahead and promote everyone. That's probably not a great idea, but I am a moron, so I'm gonna do it. Uh, again, yeah, you need, you need, like, stuff that will increase your damage, is what you need. Uh, strength, yes, definitely strength, and also break. So, she's basically, like, very useless. What does this do again? Exertion, the amount of willpower you can use on any given turn. That's, nah, uh, it is whatever, right? But, let's give her this, uh, yeah, let's give her that, let's give her strength, okay. And we've already taken care of her. Old Life, she already does a decent amount of damage, I'm going to be honest with you. And, like, how many kills should he does she have? Two? All right. Rook, you have three. You know what? We have so many, like, 
flags that we can just afford to level up everybody. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, all right. And yeah, I think we're just going to increase her damage as well as... Wait, what is her... Reign of Arrows, right? Plus one strength to second. So yeah, you can use it. You know what, though? I feel like it's not like that useful of a skill. So I'm going to go ahead and do this instead. Yeah, it's pretty dumb. Okay, you earned another promotion? Like, calm down, dude. You're a little bit power hungry here. I'm going to promote Rook. I think, like, level 2 is fine. We don't need to go up to level 3, and we're running out of these, like, t tokens here, or flags, that we probably need to do stuff, other stuff as well. So, again, we're just going to go ahead and spend another point on armor break. I know what you're thinking. Why would you spend armor break? It's so armor. And I guess maybe, like... Maybe this? Maybe? I don't know. It seems like an okay idea. Yeah. You know what? I, I, I will do that. Or the other option would be to spend it on this, which would allow us to use more of these, would allow us to use two a turn. But I think I'm going to go ahead and do that. So, yeah. That's fine. Okay. And do we have any items? We have... The Bjarkin Ruin, which increases dodge... 15% dodge, strength, and attacks. That's good. Um, let's see. She already has her little bracelet thing, which increases armor, strength, and willpower. That's good for her. And dodge, strength, and attacks. Dodge, strength, and attacks. This guy can't actually equip the level 2 item, so we're going to go ahead and equip Rook with it. Yeah, I think that's going to be fine. Can I said, yeah, okay. I think that's going to be fine. Now we can see that he's been equipped with it, and it's all good. What does this plus and minus do? Oh, I guess, okay. That just means, who are you equipping it to? Come on, let's go. All right. All right, all right, all right. I pressed escape, but it's not taking me back. I guess you have to click back. That makes sense, actually. So, yeah. Um, okay. Now we can just rest, I suppose. There's not much else to do. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and rest, first of all. All right. So, we rested for half a day. Our morale is normal. And I suppose we can leave now. And we'll see if we can run into some random encounters, stuff like that. Yeah, we can hear the sounds. I don't know why the music is not appearing, but who cares? The caravan is visibly relieved to find a small village on the way to Frostfeller. With beds and fresh supplies, the locals here are shocked by the news you bring and discuss it among themselves while you set up nearby. Okay. We were like two days from the village. Why didn't we just rough it out, man? God damn it. I don't want to leave just yet. I do want to... Oh, they have a market and, and also... What is... A map? But this is just like a regular map, right? Oh, it is probably just like a regular map. Oh no! There's a massive loading screen! What is going on? Well, well, let's see where we came from. We came from... Is this where we came from? No? That's not where we came from at all. We came from Skoger and we're going to Frostviller. Frost, Frostviller is over there. This is Skoger. This is some big-ass... Uh, Setterland. And over here, we were in... Okay. <laughs> God damn it. I wish escape would actually like escape and not just bring up the menu. I know that's some people are going to be like, I wish escape didn't bring up the menu. I mean, I, I know that if it was the other way around, I would complain about the other things. So, yeah. Anyways, we have days worth five. We should probably buy like a fuckload of food. Oh, we have to spend renown. That is cool. World Hook, an enormous fishing hook, hook thought to be from legend in which Varl King Skirmer pulled a whale from the Silverstone. Plus two armor break? That is amazing. Holy crap, that's fantastic. Like, it costs so much, though. How about this? Plus two willpower. Oh, that is amazing, too. Dragonstone, this is so expensive. And it's only plus three willpower. But, like, this. We have to buy this. Like, it's so good. Plus two armor break? Oh, my gosh. Um, it's, it's amazing. But at the same time, we have no fucking renown. Uh, pardon my French, but I think we should just buy, like, we can't buy that much. I think we should buy, like, until we have, wait, why does this not increase our days of worth of supplies? It just, it's just, like, still seven. Um... I guess we'll get eight days of supplies. That's going to cost, like, a lot of renown. I guess they're out of supplies at this point. But yeah, they only have 24 available. 
and one Renown gets three. So what's the total Renown cost? It doesn't tell you. I know you could just do basic math, 24 divided by three, but look, I'm just, I'm here to, I'm just going to buy all of their supplies because we, we need them, all right? Why does it still say I have 29 Renown? Oh, it allocates it automatically. Okay. And I think we are going to buy the World Hook. I mean, yeah, let's, 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 let's go for it. You know what? It's going to be like, uh, it's going to be like that game. Yeah, that game. I totally forgot what the hell I was talking about. But it's going to be exactly like that game where you go into the West and you spend all your money on guns and bullets and then you run out of freaking um, stuffsies. So, yeah, we're going to give it to Old Life. <laughs> give it to Old Life. Get it? All right. <laughs> God damn it, me. All right, so uh, I guess we just rest here. Like, why the hell not? And then I suppose we leave. That's fine. We really should not have camped, is what I'm thinking. But okay. You're only just outside the village when two men in red approach. My name's Hogan, says one, gesturing to the other. My brother's Mogan. From many, many from the village wish to join you to Frostvaller. A third man, exuding rage, charges up from the group. Shut your mouth, Hogan, he screams. Oh, is there combat? I love combat. Oh, it's not combat. What's going on? These bastards don't speak for us. They've been trying to divide the village since you got here. True, you can keep whoever wants to stay and die. The rest of us will go to with the reasonable people of Skogur. I'll have you both gotten before I let half the village desert. Behind the angry villager, a mob of armed thugs have appeared, all furrowed brows and nervous stares. You both know what will happen to the rest of us if the fields are abandoned. Nobody leaves. All right, so I guess we're going to, like, knock their shit out. There won't be anything to tend to once the dredge arrive. Let your people decide on this. I don't want anything. Let's talk about Let's Let's try and do this. Dredge my ass. I don't know what this scam is this time, Hogan, but you got two choices. Get back to work or I'm finally putting you in the ground. Mogan, what do you say? Though it was unfair that he only asked me, Mogan draws his axe slowly, followed by Hogan. Despite their confidence, the brothers are significantly outnumbered. I think I make a poor farmer. <laughs> so do, do do this? Do we want them to get killed, or I won't kill men for defending their homes? Side with the villagers. Oh, you can side with the villagers. I think we're gonna side with the brothers. day on. Let's go, motherfucker. Ivor steps forward. The thugs hesitate. As you pull your axe, you notice that Alette is nowhere to be seen. God damn it, Alette. Oh, we get Mogan and Hogan. What are they good for, though? I have no clue. Whatever. <laughs> Mogan and Hogan, okay. Um, you know what? Let's put Mogan and Hogan up front, because I don't really care if they die. Also, I want these people to get XP. Actually, I'm going to put Ivor up at the most dist front dist dist. Okay, this should be fine. This way our archers can do, like, finishing stuff. I don't, I don't know. All right, I'm not much of a strategician. St strategist? Tactician? Look, it doesn't matter. Oh, man, it's Mogan and Hogan. Oh, they can shield wall? Yeah. These are basically, like, the red shirts of the Banner Saga. They're literally wearing red shirts, so you can tell. Okay, so, yeah, you guys can, like, stick around over here. Uh, and we'll put, like, an archer on either side here. And I think they should be good. So we have like a stronger area towards... We're going to put them in like maybe in the center here. And I think that's going to give us a lot of strength. I think this is like a pretty good formation. Because this guy gives the people next to him a, a benefit. So I think actually maybe this is better. Yeah. That's better. I think this is good. Let's go. Alright, Ivor. Uh, I think we're going to have him use his uh, willpower. And take a strike. Well, no, he has to use willpower just to walk. So he's not going to be able to take that strike either way. Well, actually, no, he has four willpower. You know what? Let's just... But he can only use one each turn. Yeah. Okay, 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 okay. Can he use anything right now? What, what is his special ability? Uh, battering ram. That's not good. Okay. I think we're just going to move him up one. I think that's fine. And then... Is this who we have? Okay, okay, and then we just end his turn. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, he's gonna take some damage. That's okay, because he's getting the defense bonus from this guy. Nice, right? That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. 
And then I think these guys actually have like pretty good range, man. I'm pretty impressed. Mogan and Hogan, you're doing now. You're doing work. He only has 10 HP though. This guy has like eight. I think we should gang up on one guy. Again, he can only use like that much AP. So I think just move him here. And what does this do? Bloody flail. Uh, four attacks, one strength on one strength or arm each. Last hit adds plus one for each adjacent ally. Okay. Uh, we're just gonna end turn. Yeah, that should be fine. This guy's probably gonna come here and like try and gang fuck us, but he failed. And I guess we can just can we just no 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 can we attack? Can we can we, can we yes we can. can we, no oh this guy is the one going. I'm just I'm so out of it. <laughs> All right, uh, this guy gives bonus to adjacents, right, for his uh, attack. So what we can do is move him... Um, uh, no, that's not going to work. Okay, so I guess we just move him here and try and, like, gang fuck this guy. I think that's a good idea. We just attack normally. And... You know what? Let's, uh, let's use his... Let's just... Yeah, let's do this shit. Take out his armor, and then later on... Oh, he's gonna take a hit. Ouch! These guys have a really low HP, though. That's the only thing. Um, you know what we can do? Move him here. Yeah. Or, oh, no, 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 much better. Move him here. And then we attack this guy. Or we Stonewall? What does Stonewall do? It just blocks hits, which I don't think they're gonna aim for them, actually. So, yeah, again, we're just gonna talk, knock out his armor. Okay, let's see. Rook, you're, you finally have, like, an opportunity to do something useful. You can attack this guy. No. Can you not attack this guy? What, what is your attack range, man? Uh, yeah. Your attack range is not sufficient to attack that guy. You can attack this guy, though. Let's go for it. Do the most amount of damage you can. And, yeah, that's really nice. This guy is, like, basically neutralized as a threat. Yeah, that's fine. I don't really care. Again, maybe we can just take out... Uh, what's your attack range, actually? Yeah, you can attack him, right? So, let's do this. Let's, let's go for it. So, yeah, we're just, like, sort of weakening a bunch of guys, but, like, their, their attack damage is going to be reduced as a result. So, that's nice. And now, this guy's dead. This guy is not dead. So, this guy is dead, though. So we just kill him. Nice and easy, you know. And he got a promotion as a result, Ivor. Nice job. I appreciate that. And this guy is dead. Yeah. He's very dead. Okay, good. We're knocking them out. We're doing a, we're doing a good job here. Oh, shit. Mogan, Hogan. Hogan, you, you're, you're in such bad shape, Hogan. Um, Do we want to take out this guy? This is the question here. I th think it's... I think Ivor has a better chance of surviving here. So we go and try and focus on this guy. This is my answer. Uh, we try and save Mogan or Hogan or whatever the frick his name is. I don't even know. Bloody Flail, it gives you an adjacent ally bonus, but like it's not great, I don't think, because there are no adjacent allies right now. But at the same time, his regular attack is just awful. Like, it does three damage, right? As opposed to Bloody Flail, which takes... How much? Two cost. And it does one armor damage each. So I think, you know what? I'm just going to use Bloody Flail. Oh, it's one armor or health. Oh, shit. And he's taking a lot of damage as a result of it. Oh, no. No, 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 no. No. Not Hogan and Mogan. God damn it. Shit. Okay. Frick, man. It's not good. Okay, 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 okay. But we have our Lord and Savior here. Eagle. Gil. Yes. Gil, you're a badass, Gil. Oh my gosh. Is Ivory gonna just like get wrecked? Well, you know what? Rook is an okay tank type guy in uh certain situations. So yeah, Ivor still has 7 HP. You know what we can do? Like, we can sacrifice this guy because he's not that great. These, these villagers are surprisingly tough. I'm surprised by how surprisingly tough they are. But you know what? Just take that extra bit of damage, I guess. 
Now, he's basically like wounded to the point of being very weak. Oh, they're focusing on Ivor. That's actually really nice. Okay, that's good. We just kill this guy. We can't kill this guy. Are you... Oh my gosh. Okay, well, we can like wound him to the point of him being like no longer useful. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. One HP is not very much. Oh my god, Ivor. You need to... Oh shit, Ivor is dead. That's not good. I am not good at this game. <laughs> Freaking hell, man. Okay, well, Mogan, you're gonna get a promotion. Nice job. Oh, all right. All right. Oh, no. That's actually not so bad. This guy has nine. This guy has eight. Okay. All we can do is really attack, and his armor is attack is better, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. I don't really care if this guy dies either. Yeah, he's dead. Whatever. Um... Can you attack? No. If you move, can you attack? All of a sudden... Uh, I don't want you to mark praise when you attack. Yeah, you can attack. Okay. So, we're gonna do this. You still have... You have... You have some. Let's, let's go ahead. Man, Rook just, like, kicks ass and takes names. Holy shit. I feel like the archers are, like, OP as shit now. Like, freaking, uh... What's-her-face? She's getting all the kills. I, I, I shouldn't have called her What's-her-face, but I can't remember their names. Are you... Okay. It just looks dangerous, but actually... It's not. Oh my god, Gil is gonna be the most badass motherfucker ever. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, he needs to get his armor down. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alright, Old Life, that's her name, right? Old Life, yeah. Wow! Why are the archers so amazing in this game? I don't understand. I think we could just go for HP at this point, and we're gonna be fine. Um, yeah, that was actually probably a better decision, because now Gil is in a pretty bad spot, even if he can't finish it. I feel like, you know what, actually, Stone Wall might be a better idea right now for Gil. Yeah, let's, uh, let's move him back. Let's move him, like, over here. And then we're gonna go ahead and use Stone Wall. I don't know why I keep saying go ahead and all the time, but... Mostly because I feel like his HP is so low. Yeah, that's, that's, that was a very good idea. <laughs> Using Stone Wall there. And now, Old Life can finish this guy off, and it's going to be perfectly fine. I really wish the progression system was not based on kills, because what happens now is, like, all your party members that don't have kills, they just sort of stagnate a little bit, you know what I mean? So, yeah. I forgot to look at my rewards, that should be fine. 